Hello there and welcome to your All Things Trump video update. First, President Trump is scheduled to meet in the White House with Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds. The two are expected to discuss a $19 billion bailout for farmers that the administration announced last month. Now that includes $16 billion in direct aid to farmers, along with $3 billion in purchases of food meant to serve the poor. Iowa has begun the process of partially reopening the state after coronavirus. However, the state has been hit hard by coronavirus cases at poultry and other meat processing facilities. In other news, President Trump taking to Twitter to tout U.S. testing for coronavirus. The president tweeting out a chart showing total COVID-19 tests, with the United States shooting far above other countries for 7 million tests. The chart shows the United States far outpacing the countries of Germany, Italy, Canada, France, South Korea, and others. The administration has also touted the United States mortality rate, which Johns Hopkins University has shown is far lower than other developed countries. And finally, President Trump saying that Dr. Anthony Fauci, a key member of the Coronavirus Task Force, will not testify in front of the U.S. House, but will testify in front of the U.S. Senate. Now, this is certainly a political calculation as the U.S. Senate is held by Republicans, of which the president is a member of that party, whereas the House is held by Democrats. This comes as the White House hinted yesterday that it would likely shut down its coronavirus task force, potentially by the end of May, in order to allow the economy to continue its process of reopening. That's it for now. Go to justthenews.com to check out these and other trending stories.